Hello everybody. Um, this is going to be a short video. Let's see if I can get this thing leveled up. Uh, we've come out here. Nick Thornton, my son. We're going to We got our messianic battle rattle on. We're gonna blow the shofar for these guys. They're out in the yard now, but like I said, we're taking it to another level. Um, we are going to have our talits on, and we're gonna be colored. We're gonna have the colors of Aaron and Levi, the Levites, and the descendants of Aaron. So we're going to do this now. We're getting together. Uh, swing around here a little bit so you can see. There's Nick Thornton. And he's getting his dress on. Hey, Nick, you want to explain real quick as soon as you get that on? Explain to the what you got on right now. Let's explain that to the... Uh, this is what the Levites wore. Is their colors they were to remain holy they were never to shed blood they were to blow the trumpets around the walls of Jericho uh, yeah. they were to remain holy and this was their their colors their symbolic colors yeah and they they officiated in uh, for all the house of Israel mm -hmm. uh, for every tribe in the temples and uh, like you said they were never to be men of blood uh, never shed blood so that goes to show just how harmless you and I are <laughs> Descendants of Levi, yeah. Yeah. So go ahead and put your put your tefillin or the uh, tallit on, and then pretty soon here you're going to have the uh, march around Jericho is going to get started also. Nick's been blowing the shofar for quite a few years now also. Um, as a literal descendant of Aaron, he has that uh, birthright. Okay, so grab your shofar. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, come over here, stay right there, and I'm gonna get mine on now. I'll be right with you. Okay, and just to let you know, this uh, this tallit that Nick has on right here is going to be the property of Ryan Payne. He uh, went and purchased this specifically for this occasion and for Ryan Payne. Ryan Payne has requested uh, this during his, uh, his trial. Um, and I hope, uh, from what I understand, I'll be a, a witness for him. And I plan on wearing, when he when he's there, I plan on wearing this this garb also. 
for for Ryan Payne and his uh, and his support. As you can see, I have the same colors on. A little bit uh, more reserved. Uh, if you'll remember, for the listeners, I wore this on the stand in Oregon, and I wore it also out in front of the courthouse. When I wore it on the stand, I wanted them to see the symbolism of the holy priesthood and that it was there in that courtroom. You know, there's a lot of questions about that. So, anyhow, uh, we feel like this is appropriate and proper to do this today, and we're going to get started now. So maybe we just take a step back because we're kind of too close. We'll face it. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do just a straight blast. Yeah, count of three. Oh, whatever. whatever. Takia. Yeah, the Takia. This is the Takia. Nick did the, uh, I'll let you tell him what you just did. We, we, we did the tequila, then we did uh, uh, the shivering, which is three short bla blasts. Uh, you see it has a broken heart and a contrite, contrite spirit because it's broken up. Uh, we got tequila godola, that's nine quick blasts for succession. And then, then you got the uh, te tequila godola, which is a long straight blast, which is known as the hunter trump, which is the final trump. Yeah. On that day on the Feast of Trumpets, Yashashana will blow the trump 99 times. The last one is a long blast, and it is symbolic of the resurrection. You know, and that's called the Tequia Dola. You want to see if we can do that? The straight blast? Yeah, the Tequia Dola, as long as we can. Yeah, usually between 90 seconds. We got a lot of loved ones in preparation uh, for their resurrection. We'll do this symbolic for those loved ones that are on the other side of the veil. You've got young lungs. I can't keep up with me. Okay, folks. I hope you I hope you enjoyed that. I hope the uh, I pray that our men that are just on the other side of this berm here. Uh, heard it and I hope they get a chance to see it um, let me say one more time I want to thank my son for what he is doing this wonderful gesture again this is be Ryan Payne's when he's in court and all you court court observers we hope you're here to see it thank you very much you want to blow it one more time okay <laughs> Thank you, son. Thank you.